Now, a few things to point out about the back here. We've got a nice Lincoln badge along the back. We've got our backup camera, which I already pointed out. And then we've got something that's unique. We've got this little guy, so a little release. If we look underneath, we've got a few buttons. So we've got one off the left-hand side, and we've got one off to the right. So under the I in Lincoln, we've got a button. Under the last L in Lincoln, another button. Pushing this one releases the glass. Look at that. So you need to slide in some wood, things like that. You've got that flexibility. We can just pop the glass if we want to. We've got our rear wiper there. And then if we hit the other L, so the other button under the L in Lincoln, that's gonna be for our lift gate. Now, we could push that button in order to get inside. I did mention it, we do have that button to the left-hand side of the steering wheel we can push as well. If we look at the, I'm not playing pocket pool, I swear. We've got our key fob there. I'll show you some basic highlights of the fob. So we've got our unlock button, lock button, remote start, trunk release, horn or panic, and then our emergency access key there as well. So we can push the lock button once, circle button twice to, restart, to start the vehicle. We do also have the flexibility of using the Lincoln Way app on either Android or iPhone devices. We've got the flexibility of remote starting the vehicle. We can also roll our windows up, down, etc. We we've got the option of using our phone as a key. So you don't need to worry about bringing your key fob with you as long as you've got your cell phone. It's available there as an option, which is amazing. Now, one other cool thing is that we also have the flexibility of... Haha. <laughs> I was like, please work first time, <laughs> and it did. So we've got a foot activated power lift gate. Now this one is just the regular navigator, so it's not the extended length, but I mean, we've got a nice amount of cargo space in the back here. Not a ton, but I mean, if you don't need the extra space, you just need the seats, getting the regular length navigator might be in the books for you. And one cool thing, just off to the left-hand side, series of other things that are available. So we've got some base hooks there, cargo hooks, tiny little storage side on the left side nothing along the right except for a little light and then I mentioned so we've got these things here but we'll get to that in a second we do have this tray that we can slide up and lock in place cargo net we've got our jack stand for the vehicle because our spare tire is located just underneath moving this thing back down again and as I mentioned we've got a series of buttons just to the left hand side there so few buttons to point out we do have power adjustable third rows our power folding third row seats so we can fold them down individually or together the second row seats are going to be a power down but they're manual back up we've got the flexibility of folding them down individually so either the left or the right side or we can fold them down together so if we look at this we button press you can see down go the headrests but look at the difference in the dimensions. Uh, look at the difference in the dimensions when we've got that second or the third row folded down. So it opens it up quite nicely there. And then we've also got the flexibility. So as I mentioned, to push this to lower both sides down as well for the second row. Nice slow fold. And then look at that cargo depth. Really, really nice that we've got that available as an option, but so much space. And as I mentioned, we've got all of our tether points there all the way throughout. Looks really, really nice. It's so good, but I mean, I say it all the time. If you need the space, you need the space. And having the flexibility to be able to power fold the seats in the third row is really nice. Like even bringing the seats back up again is not overly difficult. Like we hop back inside. Two seconds. <laughs> It's nice. It would be nice if it was a power up and down for the second row as well, but it is nice that we've at least got the flexibility to go up and down for the third row, just using a simple button press. 